my God. <gasps> nowhere. <laughs> I was nowhere in my career. Are you kidding me? Um, well, I mean, so I had grown up doing theater. Like I had a little bit of an acting background. I knew I liked it a lot. But when I was working at VH1, and I was about like 21, 22, and I was working at VH1 and I was behind the camera and I was interviewing all these celebrities and I just, it's like after a couple years of doing that, I realized, wait a second, like this isn't what I wanna be doing forever. I actually have always wanted to be in front of the camera. I've always wanted to be the one working on projects and then talking about them and, you know, diving deep into those worlds. And so, um, yeah, I was nowhere. When I, when I discovered you at Reproductions, I think, um, I had nothing. I had not been taking classes. I was very, very green. Very. Green. I didn't know what I was getting into. So a bit like naive about the industry. Um, I would say like scared. Like I was very un. <laughs> this is hard. I was like I was scared. I was uneducated in this in Hollywood in the world. Um, and I was like probably very insecure. I remember, I think I was, you know, you put on this like happy face when you come to class and you're like, cool, I'm here. But like deep down inside, you are freaking out. You know, you don't know what you're doing. You're in a room with maybe some other actors who've been there for a while who do know what they're doing. And you're just like, <laughs> like, I can't do this. What am I, what did I think? Well, I think the first thing is just my desire to learn more. Like, I think I, I had the knowledge. I knew that I didn't know enough. I needed to learn more. And class was the only way I could do that. And like a consistent class. So I, I just, I had that intuitive feeling and I knew that I needed to be in class. And then when I met you, like when I discovered you, when I was looking for classes, it was just everything about you, your energy, your sense of humor. Um, I also felt really safe with you. I think I remember, you know, looking for classes and feeling like, no, it's not a right fit. And then I met you and I was like, oh my God, I just feel like I can, I'm in a safe place. I can grow. And she's like, I'm in good hands. That was just a feeling I had when I met you. I went from no knowing nothing to then like really knowing things like the back of my hand, just like I can, I can do it. You give me direction and I can just take it right there, right then and there without having to think about it too much. And that was like a huge transformation for me. Um, I think when I started, like within the first year of working with you, maybe the second year, but I think it was within the first year, I was able to get auditions. I was able to find an agent, commercial agent. Um, and remember, I don't know if you remember this, but like my first five auditions, I got callbacks for, for like all of them. <laughs> and it was because I wasn't really in my actor brain. I was still so like fresh and new and it was so exciting that I would just like go into the room and be like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> um, you could just see over time with our network, with learning how to take better headshots, with like gaining more real footage, everything just improved drastically. But like in the beginning, nothing. And over time, uh, I got it all. Get off the fence, get into class. <laughs> um, no, but really, I think the, the, the thing that, the thing about your class that was so not only fun and exciting and just so useful and helpful was that you're a casting director. You're coming from the point of view and you're teaching us things that we need to know in the room, not just on set, not just, you know, at home learning sides and learning your lines, but really how to deliver in the audition room. And I think this class really prepared me for, for those real life experiences of like getting cold copy, 
getting comedy sides, getting drama, how to tackle them immediately, what, you know, how to have strong opinions. And so, you know, working with you, someone who not only has done it herself, but works on the other end and works with actors every day and sees what works, what doesn't work, what's out there in the industry. Like that was very helpful to me. I still use all of those tools today. So I think this course really stands out versus other courses you might find uh, because not only are you learning the tools you need to work on comedy, to work on drama, to work on cold reads, to work on half hour, you know, sitcoms, whatever. Not only do you get those tools, but you also have a community here and a casting director who is teaching you all of the marketing and the business side of this, this industry. So yes, you need to be a good actor. You need to have your ducks in a row. You need to have the tools in your toolbox to really perform and deliver what is needed, but also it's a business and I work in marketing. I actually do social media marketing. Uh, I've been doing it for the past 10, 11 years. And even that like changed, even with that background, I still learned so much working with you on how to market yourself as an actor, as a performer and as a all around human, like a great human that you would want to work with, um, a professional a professional actor. So not like, again, I'll say, not only is it the tools you need in your toolbox, but it's also the marketing side, the headshots, the reels, the finding characters that work for you, you know, getting specific, not caring about typecasting yourself, run with it. If you're, if you are typecasted right now at this point of your career, like when you're early, you know, starting early on, run with it. Don't fight that. And these are all the tools that you learn.